Hello guys and welcome back to Angel Sinker and Corner. Today I'm gonna be bringing you guys a new series where we basically take some old hardware like PC hardware and we give it a new life. Here I have an HP Compact 800 Elite Super Slim Desktop and that's a very long name but uh, these computers are usually used in business environments and you can get them for real cheap on eBay and so on so I got this one for like 35 bucks <clears throat> it has uh, like 2 gigs of RAM it has a dual core 2.3 I think and so on and as we're gonna see later on in the video I'm gonna take it apart and show you what is inside and I'm gonna show you what some, some sellers sell it with and maybe if you have another computer you can just use that one or so on but this um, series is mostly just to um, give life to old hardware and what we're gonna be doing is that we're gonna be making a file server with a cloud server and also a media server all inside one PC so basically you will be able to throw all your files in here and then maybe access a website and, and in that website you can download the same files or modify them, upload this, upload files to this one. Um, also there is going to be another website which is going to give you all the media files inside the hard drive so you will be able to play music um, remotely from either if you are within your own network or somewhere else far away and play videos play music play any type of media that you have so in order to get this machine to become a cloud server um, file server and also a media server what we're gonna have to do is install Ubuntu server which is the um, the CLI version of Ubuntu where you basically only have a command line and it's used mostly for servers although this is not really server hardware basically any server is just a computer um, and if you can install a server distribution or in this case just, it's uh, just a normal Linux distribution in it, and then just install server components into it then we can have uh, basically a um, very functioning server that is gonna uh, suit, our, suit our needs um, this is only gonna be a home server this is not gonna be something that you're gonna be using for like uh, like 30 people 40 people using it at the same time now this is gonna be just a very small server for maybe four or five people to use at the same time um, so let me show you around um, the parts that it has so uh, it has four USB 2 it has a power button it has a uh, um, CD-ROM the sides don't have anything then at the back we have this uses um, one of those power jacks that the um, laptops use here we have um, some weird connector and that I actually don't know what it is. I think it's supposed to be for hard drives. Um, here we have two more USBs and then four more USBs. So in total we have um, 10 USBs actually. And they are all 2.0. So they're pretty slow. We have Ethernet. I'm not sure. It's not going to be gigabit. But it's going to be good enough. If you can get a gigabit gigabit connector, um, PCIe gigabit connector, then you can get at higher speeds. Um, this is the uh, for the um, for the mouse and keyboard. This is for the headphones. So we're not gonna need any of these. Basically, maybe the, the keyboard. But other than that, I don't think we're gonna use anything. Um, this is the VGA, I forgot to mention it. This is the VGA port. Um, this is what I'm gonna be connecting through so I can see what's going on in the in the actual computer. Um, you can actually um, screw this out, then pull it. And 
it comes apart so I mean I'll be right back uh, let me move my camera so I can get a better shot so here we basically have the inside of the desktop um, the processor is under here um, if you get a uh, old desktop you might wanna um, take it apart and clean it up and put some new um, thermal compound for that so it can the heat can dissipate easier this one this motherboard actually is it reminds me a lot of um, a laptop motherboard mostly because of the RAM because it uses one of the, the smaller RAMs for um, laptops and such um, it also uses only one drive so let me show you um, to take the the CD-ROM out we have to first disconnect it so gonna do is um, press this tab inwards and then push forwards and then you're gonna have the CD ROM right here. We're not gonna really use it, but we're still gonna have it there. Then under here we have the drive. I can show you what the drive looks like. If I can get this out. Yeah, so there you go. So slide forward and then pull up. There you go. This drive is one of the 2.5 drives and it's 160 gigabytes, it's really small but this is gonna do for the actual tutorial which is not gonna be, it's not gonna be that bad for the tutorial it's gonna be pretty good um, now you can see the motherboard here like I said, it, this one only has um, 2 gigs of RAM um, let me take it out so, that, so you can see so it springs out you can take it out it's only one stick I don't know if you can see it it's only one stick so I can just pop it back in there you go this also has a fan on this side and the main fan um, blows from the front and then comes out to the back now this doesn't have a full-on power supply like I said before it only has that connector for a laptop brick um, and I can show you later what it looks like it's, it's just a pretty big brick so I'll put everything back in and then we can test out actually the if the desktop works or not I'm also gonna be adding a little bit more RAM so I can make it into a 4 gig system and that's pretty much it it's just gonna help the uh, the system just go a little bit faster it's not gonna make a lot of difference when it comes to the performance of the server because the server does not consume as much power but it's just gonna be a good thing to have so I have my RAM right here I, I have two sticks of DDR3 RAM they are the small um, type of RAM I got these two from a laptop and I know they're gonna fit well because they're the same RAM I made sure I use the same type of RAM, the same manufacturer, so um, we get better speeds out of it. So I'm just gonna install them. So try to install the other one before. It was a little tricky, but this should be fine. Just gotta, well, just gotta make sure I push it in first and then push down that should be good that should be fine and this one um, I always make sure to put the bottom one first and then the top one um, can I almost have to have it parallel and then push inside make sure it's in and then push downwards 
Again, to release it, you take your two fingers and then you push like that. And to I'll put it back in, push down. So there you go. So now we can just go and test this bad boy out. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you that the computer actually works. Uh, I have here a um, USB with um, Antergos, which is a Linux distribution uh, that you can download for free. And it says it's a pretty good distribution. Yeah, I just wanna. That's the one I use for um, my desktop, so I have it around so I can test some stuff with it. Um, so I'm gonna turn the desktop on, and of course, it's not fucking connected. So now I can turn it on and show you guys that, I, that it actually works. Um, that is not good at all. Okay. Okay, guys. So I'm not super sure what happened there. Um, I removed one of the RAM sticks, and now I think it's not doing what it was doing before. So we can power it on and hope for the best. Hope that it actually works. Oh yeah, it works. There you go. Says HP. So now, uh, Antergos is booting. It says boot from hard drive. Stars start Antergos live a non-graphical boot. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, I'm gonna go for live Antergos live. So this is just basically we're just testing this out and see if it actually works. It actually can boot. Um, this is one thing that you have to do to make sure your, your hardware actually works before you actually try to do anything with it because maybe the hard drive is not working or something like that maybe some of the parts inside is not working the scissor ROM or the USB ports or something so it's better it's always good to um, test out your hardware so when it boots I'm gonna actually make sure that the hard drive is actually showing up on the on the computer so I'm gonna type terminal here press enter and now you can barely see the terminal but I wanna um, press um, the keys ls v l k and it shows me that there is a 160 gig drive and also the USB is connected so um, I would say this is actually working pretty well. Um, so, so now what we can do is we can actually go into the computer and download Ubuntu on server so we can put it on a USB and then install it into our uh, um, little desktop here. So we're gonna do that and then after that we're gonna come back and then install it. 